So another centre back, another French centre back to add to my collection. My brand new partner for big William Saliba. Tadebo's in the building. Only one playstyle plus. It is a fantasy FC card, so upgrade potential. But just wait till you see the rest of this man's playstyles. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. We have every single defending playstyle apart from slide tackle. There's bruiser, anticipate, of course, intercept plus, which I'm a fan of. I had the uh, 85 rated evolution Saliba for a thousand plus games and he was rocking that play style block jockey's also there as well as rapid which is nice for a center back and long ball pass in regards to the card itself six three medium high the team he plays for is nice in the league earn and i believe they're fifth uh one of those kind of teams where they're not really on a, an incredible run of form, but they're a bit up and down all over the place. So, League One fans, let me know down below in the comment section how likely this man to secure an upgrade. The stats are just pretty generic centre-back stats. Like, the pace is good. Same with the defending. I mean, loads of 87s there. The physicals, the strength, the aggression's nice. Reactions, composure, passing stats look good for the uh, uh, other play passing. He looks decent. Nothing mind-blowing. Definitely needs a few upgrades to properly push up into that super meta uh, kind of era for centre backs. However, you never know with this man. Like I've not used him yet. In, it's been this like it's actually no wait. Did he have a team of the week? He had a team of the week, didn't he? I swear he has. And it was an impossible Evo. Let me know if I'm waffling here because I don't know why I'm just picturing that, but it, it makes sense to me. But I've not used him yet. He's six foot three, medium height. There's potential. Let's see if he is the new Saliba. I don't know about that, it's a bold statement. So looking at Footbin, the estimated price is basically dead on 200k, which on paper, you think French, you think Ligue 1, decent chemistry links there with fantastic playstyles, basically every defending playstyle. If only EA had uh, gone a bit above and beyond and maybe given him something like, I don't know, Bruiser or Aerial Threat Plus as well as Intercept, we'd be dreaming. But long ball passes there and he's already a bit of a playmaker passing his balls out the back. Rolfo, Timo, Bobby. <laughs> okay. By the way, I just want to say a little thank you for the recent support, guys. We've been pumping out as many daily reviews as possible. Basically, as much as EA, well, as long as EA keep dropping the content, I'll be there producing the daily reviews. But I just appreciate the support. Like, you guys coming back week in, week out, dropping likes on the videos. We're getting more likes than ever. We're closing in on 20k subs as well. So, I do really appreciate it from you guys. By the way, I did actually check his body type. He doesn't look lean. He looks pretty average and normal. But, the boy's moving. Little one to Bobby. Potential for an assist. Can we be greedy? Big Bobby Charlton. No, we can't. Try and allow my opponent to bomb forward as much as I can, obviously, for this player review. I know he wants to cut back and yes. The intercept playstyle plus coming in clutch. It's what he does. Oh, hold up. You just parted ways, son. You parted ways. He can't allow Timo any space. Maybe he's going to let one more pass, I reckon. And he's there again. Mate, this intercept looks pretty crazy, you know. Tadebo is flying those legs about. Throw ball to a big man, Udogi. Go on. Why not? He's got a range of passing on him, Tadebo. Spinazzola out wide. Another solid pass, man. So definitely one thing is for sure. Playing out the back is going to be a strong point of this card. Potential foot race on the cards. Mate, so far, my opponent has not had a single sniff of action. Because Tadebo's been there. Basically, basically brewing any hope my opponent has for bombing forward and getting back into this game. Solid, feels strong, feels quick to jockey with. And those interceptions have definitely been coming in clutch so far. The French duo switched on to Debo. Always oh, physical, man. The man has some strength. And honestly, I don't want to say the obvious comparison to Saliba. But so far, I'm using him in the same team. You know me, I love William Saliba on this game. I've put in a good like 1,500 plus games with uh, all his cards combined. To Debo, there's potential there. Let's just let's just leave it at that. Potential foot race. Oh, he's gone for it. He's gone for it. Speed is definitely a strong point of Tadebo's card. If this is the base foundation being an 87 rated, as long as Nice get a few upgrades, hopefully he at least plays as well. Maybe a clean sheet gets at least a plus two. We could be we could be onto something here. A little bit of speed needed. Never mind, that'll do. Oh, that's lovely play. 
Oh, straight to me. Straight to me. You know what? Intercept play stuff plus. Flash on up, lads. Because he's making all kinds of interceptions. He feels quick and he's moving away right on the ball as well. That's game. 3-0. Timo Werner. Top bins. Okay, we're, we're just taking the mickey here. We're scoring absolute screamers. Timo Werner. What? If you've not done this SBC, make sure to do it. Haaland, mate. No chance. You're too slow with it. Tadebo's on the case. Makes the interception once again. Game number two, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Oh, have a bit of that. These power shots, by the way, crazy, crazy good at the moment. Play the offside trap, though. Tadebo's jockey speed feels pretty lively. We've been spun, though. You know what? I went for the slide. I honestly went for the slide. And he sent me to Tesco back. You could have that one. Ah, it's lovely defending. Lovely defending. The jockey speed, nice. Oh, that's a lovely ball. We kind of switched on. He's definitely cutting back inside. Have him. Come on to Debo. We're looking solid. We're looking quick. Marshalling that defense there. And we make the tackle once again with the big boy. This man likes a lob through ball. Ooh, a little bounce off there, Haaland. Can't handle the heat that is big man to Debo, can you? Oh, that's a fantastic ball. Have a bit of that then, Spinazzola gets us that lead. So all in all, six foot three, Mr. Jean-Claire Tadebo. How do you rank amongst the rest? 200k, not too shabby. If you take a look at the difference of this man and Saliba, by the way, there's very few differences between the two cards. And if anything, the play styles are pretty similar. So what I would say, maybe, just maybe, if this man clutches up, oh, McCon yeah, yeah, Xbox is froze, brilliant. FIFA, since the patch are froze lot a load, by the way. But I don't mind being on the play style. All I'm going to say is if this man gets some upgrades, there's potential to be a budget Saliba for sure. Like there's serious potential here. Feels quick. He's powerful. He's strong. Great defensively. Nice play styles as well. All we need are those upgrades. For the price tag, I'd say it's 100% worth it. Maybe see if you can wait for at least one game to be played before com like committing to the SBC. I know that's the case of players like Rolfo, etc. So if that is possible, definitely worth waiting. But still, really nice solid option. No complaints whatsoever. Let me know what you think down below. I'll be more to subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later.